What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health, but most of you who are here, you're usually here. But if you're new, subscribe, hit the notification bell because I make a ton of videos. So this is a very special day. I am doing a Patreon Q&A, but why does everything look different? Because I'm also going to be following a makeup tutorial. So, uh, yeah, real quick, just about the Patreon Q&A. So, I have a Patreon set up. Go join it, okay? <laughs> I get a lot, a lot, a lot of questions, and I get a lot of requests and saying, Chris, can you make a video on this? Chris, can you talk to me about that? Da, 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 da. And sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. So, every couple of weeks or so, I try to do a Patreon Q&A. So, anybody who signed up on Patreon, doesn't matter if you're signed up for $1, $20, whatever it is per month, I make it a priority to sit down and answer some questions. But a while back, I did a Tati Westbrook uh, makeup tutorial and a lot of you saw it and you're like, Chrissy, when are you gonna do another one? And you know what? You know what I like to do? I like to kill two birds with one stone. So that's what I'm gonna do. So over in our Discord server, and by the way, if you're not in our Discord server, you need to get up in there. But I asked, I asked in which, I don't know, remember which chat, but I said, who's the least problematic YouTube, uh, beauty YouTuber? And I got a lot of suggestions and I said, but not Tati because I already did hers. And I don't think people knew why I was asking. But anyways, it was recommended to me to do Raw Beauty Christie. That's her name, right? So Raw Beauty Christie, if you're watching this, girl, check it out. I'm about to do your makeup tutorial. So today, Tristan is behind the camera. Say hi. Hi guys. <laughs> so Tristan's behind the camera. She's gonna be reading me Patreon questions while I do my best to follow this. So, so I'm gonna let you guys all know first too, okay? When I did the Tati Westbrook one, like it was a learning experience. And that was like months ago. That was like what, six, seven, eight months ago? But I think I learned some new strategy that I'm gonna try to implement here. So I think it'll turn out better. And you know what kind of bums me out? You know what kind of bums me out? In the beginning, everybody said it looked good, but like months later, people were like, nah, Chris, that didn't look too good. Like, just be honest with me. You know, I could take it. I'm a big boy. But anyways, let's get started. Raw Beauty Christie. We are doing the Glowy Bronze Summer Glam Jaclyn Hill X Morphe Palette Chatty Halo Eye Tutorial. That's a long name. But hey, yeah, you got to get that algorithm to pick up your videos. I get you, Christie. All right. So let's see. It's loading. Oh, there we go. Doesn't look too hard so far. Oh, I know her. I know her. Okay, so she did a she did a video like a Shane Dawson like uh yeah. yeah like she was making fun of it and it was hilarious. All right, all right, Christy, I see you. So I'm gonna start off by going in with the Urban Decay Quick Fix Hydro Charge Complexion Preps Priming Spray. God, priming spray. Oh. Okay, so here's the other thing. Sometimes Tristan tells me to do stuff and then sometimes she tells me not to. Do we have priming spray? Not that one. Is this priming spray? No. This setting spray. Yeah. You'll need a lot of that. Got my little basket. Why is everything in a basket? I need to see. I need to see my I stuff. Just needed to gather it in something. Okay. Okay. Is this this it? Yep. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Go ahead and ask me a question. While I, wait, hold on. I need to see how she does this. Oh, I could do that. Do I need a mirror for this? No. You gotta close your eyes. <laughs> they are closed. Do I close my mouth? Yeah. Okay. What's the question? Okay. So Karen asks. Hold on. Is that enough? What Karen asked? <laughs> Karen asked, have you ever made a video about gambling addiction since you live in Vegas? What do you think about casinos? Is there enough being done to prevent gambling addiction? Do you think gambling is being glorified in movies? Ooh, that's a, that's a multi-part question. All right, so let me get to the next step and I will answer that question. I'm gonna go in with the IT Cosmetics CC Cream in the color Medium. CC Cream? Tan, but I just can't be bothered to go through with all that. Before this? And it, I don't even know if that's what it's called. Oh, it's shit. Flawless Whoa, what flawless is happening? This one right here. Oh, wait, she I has a sponge. I, saw using oh. it. I think it was him. Wait, hold on, hold on, girl. What are you doing? My eye itches and I haven't even put makeup on, but I'm afraid. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah. This all is right. just for your face. This? Yep. I already danced again. Use that. But she's using a brush. She's using a brush right now, but you can use a brush if you want to. See, it worries me. It worries me. It's like that's she's just using a brush to put it on her face. That's why I cook, because she just like goes all willy nilly with instructions. And I try to follow stuff. I don't follow instructions. Okay. Okay, so to answer your question, gambling addiction. That's like process does this go all over my face? Yes. Okay. So gambling <laughs> addiction. We call that a process addiction. So when it's not a substance, <laughs> Do this right. We call that process addiction. 
And that's like something that's like without substances. So like gambling, sex, shopping, whatever. Is this enough? Maybe a little bit more. Where? Like your nose? Nose. <laughs> so we call this a process addiction. And uh, yeah, I've, I've talked about it before. I made a video called like uh, addiction is everywhere or something like that. And I kind of explained how anything has a potential of becoming psychologically addictive. And I've had a lot of people like talk about, I'm surprised too on my Bobby Burns videos talking about how yes, weed is addictive. Like not it is addictive, but it can become addictive. But do I think that places, oh, in Vegas, like, okay, so those of you who haven't been to Vegas, like there's, there's machines everywhere. You go into a gas station, you go into a grocery store, there's machines. And something that like bums me out is when you go into like, when like, it's everything's 24 seven and it's like six in the morning. I'm going there to get some coffee or whatever on my way to work. And you see somebody and you're just like, oh my God, you've been, you've probably been sitting in a gas station playing video poker all night long. Like, you know, that's super sad to me, right? Cats, like Maya, Maya, before we recorded this, I told you. she I said, told you. I want to let you know that I told him things. Yeah. And I was like, oh yeah, Maya's just going to sit and lay on the couch and she's losing her mind right now. Maya. But yeah, so anyways, what I'm getting at is at the, at the, uh, now I itch. Can I use this to itch myself, scratch myself? Yeah, that's your only option. Okay. So at the uh, gas stations and stuff, on top, they like have these little pamphlets that are like, has the fun gone away from gambling? So like, that's the way they do it, right? It's kind of like on cigarettes when they're like, this can cause cancer. Like, it's not really doing anything, but they put it there because I think like they're required to. But like, do I think it's glamorized in like movies? And t that was what it asked, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Like, it's just anything else. I don't think it's glamorized any more than drinking. You know what I mean? Yeah. Did I answer all those questions? By the way, go subscribe to Karen's channel. She's been doing some mental health stuff over there and she's a filmmaker. I got you, Karen. Let's, let's see what Rob Beauty Christie's doing. I'm already looking better. Can I just do this every day? I don't know why you're smiling. Girl, be confident. So she's talking about right now how she's only lost. She's only lost 15 or 20 pounds. If any of you watched my Garrett Watts video I made the other day, celebrate the small successes. Christy, if you see this, celebrate that girl. So you know how many people, you know, give this video a thumbs up if you would like to lose 15 or 20 pounds. All right, let's show Christy what's up with all the likes. That's like me getting likes too. And subscribe. That'll really show Christy with the <laughs> notifications on. So Wait, what I the f- Whoa, 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 Christy. This, this is my problem with makeup tutorials. She just started putting stuff under her eyes, did not say what it was. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. It was, it was that stuff, huh? Yeah. Wait, no, no, she didn't tell me. She didn't tell me, was it this? All right, Christy, hold on. Christy, quit talking and tutorial me. Okay, and then you blend. This is part of my new strategy is watch the whole step. Oh, damn it, Christy. You're getting complicated. All right, what's what's the question? What's the next question? Karen also wonders, what advice would you give someone who has to live up to other people's expectations? Someone who feels the need to buy expensive clothes, buy an expensive car, even though they can't afford it. And then she gives an example of Trisha Paytas. Uh. Made a video about being broke, yet she made a bunch more videos after buying very expensive stuff. Yeah, that's a that's a multi part question as well. Like, yeah, don't like you. I, I'll, I this is here's a quick story time. I <laughs> this is right when I was barely making any money, and and the other thing was I I was I was a people pleaser, and if you're a people pleaser who who gets involved with a high pressure salesman, you are screwed. Oh, soon? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold on. She put it, did she put it here too? She also put some like here okay. and there. Yeah. Okay. So anyways, I got pressured into buying a truck that I couldn't afford. And thank God they realized that I didn't have the good credit. So they took it back. But yeah, that is awful. And this is something that I'm trying to teach all you guys. Like quit caring so much about what other people think. That is temporary happiness. Like think about it. If you have friends who only hang out with you, if you buy shit, oh my God, the cats are losing their minds. Like those people suck. And if it's like your family, they suck. Like, are you really going to like, so many people are stressed out about the debt they're in because so what if it's like college loans, right? You only did that to like make your mom happy. Like, is your mom paying your debt? No, then go pursue a career that you want. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's just to thine own self be true, baby girl. And Trisha Paytas, I thought that question was gonna go a different way. Like she, she bought like a new Lambo or something like that. And in a video she made like the day after, 
she was talking about how she was depressed, bought it, thinking she'd be happy, and that was just like a short-lived gratification. Like, that's what, that's what cocaine addicts do. You know what I mean? So going back to Karen's first question about gambling, like you gotta realize, like, that's why I'm really trying to teach you guys to get your value system in order, because these are these are temporary dopamine hits that you're that you're getting. Oh, your 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 friend thinks it's cool that you just bought that car? Like, do you really think they're gonna tell you that for the next six months? Hell no. You know what I mean? Get happy with you, baby girl. Get happy within you with this. I'm looking good, huh? How's that? Am I blended? Hi. What's up to you? That's up to you. You're following the <coughs> Guide me. I'm helping you too much. She's doing something right here. I'm helping you wait, that's for sure. She like put some stuff with it. She's okay, like, I'm powdering oh. my face right now, then I'm gonna highlight out of it. Wait, powdering your face? With what? Powder. What's powder? Do you have it? Powder? Powder. Oh, oh, hold on, I know, I know. Powder. <laughs> she like did it really quick. I didn't see what she did. Let me give advice to any any aspiring YouTuber out there, okay? This is something I learned with writing. Like, and this is gonna sound awful, but just use this as a rule of thumb. When you're giving any type of instructions or tutorial, do it like the person watching, in this case, or reading, is the dumbest person on earth. And like, in this case, it's me. So like, when you skip a step, I am a mess. I am just a mess, Christy. Congratulations on the weight loss, though. She's squirting something. Did she already powder though? Yeah. Okay, fine. You still have the powder. All right, what's the next question? Do I need a powder? My face is getting sweaty. Then you better powder. That'll Should help. I turn this fan on? That'll help. Okay. You don't turn fans on? Not for sound. You want your sound to be good, right? What? Zach's gonna edit that. So she didn't even show me how she powdered. Okay, this is old school. <laughs> what are you doing? What, is that too much? Yeah, you better No, 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 this is the old Tati's stuff. Oh, sh I shouldn't have done that over my computer. Oh my god. Okay, so wait, do I just kind of brush? Yes, everywhere. All okay, all what's, the, what's the question? All right, Julia wonders, can you talk about how Article 13 could affect your channel? Ah, uh, okay, so first off, so many people have been talking about Article 13, and if you want to learn about it, I'd say the best video to watch on it, the one that explained it to me the best, is... Uh, the film theorist did it. And so article 13, I'm just gonna sum it up in a very crude way, is that YouTube, let's let's say I held up my Rockstar in here. If Rockstar wanted to come after me, they can come after me. What article 13 is doing is that it would come after YouTube instead of me. So in order for YouTube to cover their own butt, they just will nix anything that can be copywritten. But one of the reasons people are freaking out is because this can be anything from memes to like, it's not just music and clips. Now, a few people have asked me how it would affect my channel. I don't foresee it affecting my channel much. I don't like, and I might be very ignorant to this, but I, I've been trying to think, you know, this is like, you know, a moneymaker for me. Like this is how I pay bills and stuff. So I've thought about it. So for me, I don't see how it'll affect me. Like I don't really use memes. The only thing I really use is clips from other YouTube videos. So unless the clip I use had something copywritten in that. Now, what people are concerned about is that, I think, I think the film theorists mentioned this. There was some kind of, some other thing that passed, right? And then like what, what other countries do is, like the United States will look at the strictest law and rather than just having like country specific things, they're going to just find the strictest law and then do that for all the countries, right? So just because it's happening for the UK, like YouTube might implement that for the United States, even though there's no confirmation of that. So, but basically a lot of people are trying to bring awareness to it. Like if you're in the UK, like go watch the film theorist video, like call people, get involved. It's kind of a big deal. They haven't passed it all the way yet. Basically there's just like one line of, there, there's some writing in there that needs to change is what they're saying. Like that's it. And it's in the final stages. So yeah. Oh my God, I'm itchy. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful. She she powdered and then she squirted a little thing at the top right here. Do I need to do that? That's because she missed a spot. Did you miss a spot? <laughs> Heck no, I didn't. Now okay. I've gotten to the point where now See, I... See, what is she doing? Because I'm like passing it and I'm like, this person... She's putting something on her eyebrows. Christy, girl, you gotta know. tell me what you're so doing. Nice now What's she putting on her eyebrows? I didn't give you eyebrow thing. Do you want me to give you an eyebrow thing? Well, yeah. But why didn't she tell me? 
So yeah, that's cool. So those of you who are watching this about weight loss, like that's exactly right. Like once you get like a momentum going, like, and this is what I try to talk to you guys about with mental health too. Like I just made a video talking about like, is anybody hopeless? Is anybody a lost cause or whatever? And for so many people, and that's why I keep trying to get everybody to get into the solution. For so many people, you just gotta take the first step. That's why I don't try to overload you. Like I know I overload you with like videos and stuff, but I'm trying to give you so many options. So like if you just find one video and you're like, okay, I can do that. Like that's something I can do. I can journal, I can start practicing this. I can start trying to change my perception of that and seeing how I deal with this or da da da. Like if you just start doing one thing, then other things start to, it, it looks possible, right? Like if I relate it to my sobriety, like she's talking about her weight in this. If I relate it to my sobriety, staying sober forever sounded insane, but staying sober for a day seemed reasonable. All right, and then I stayed sober for a day, and then I was like, okay, I stayed sober for a day, maybe I can stay sober for one day, one more day, right? And then that's two days, and maybe I can stay sober for three days, right? The next thing you know, it's a week. The next thing you know, it's a month, and I'm just doing it one day at a time. So like, when it comes to eating healthy and being going to the gym, which is terrible because I'm not doing great in that department right now, even though a lot of you have said it looks like I'm losing weight, I'm trying to figure out if it's the beard trim or if it's me eating healthier, because I'll be honest, I have not been to the gym yet. I need to go, please yell at me. But I have been trying to eat healthier and watch my calories and stuff. Um, Tristan and I have been cooking. Uh, I've been cooking. Tristan's cooked breakfast, I will say that. But focus on doing that thing for a day. Let's talk about like meditation. You don't gotta meditate forever, just meditate today, right? What is happening? So I got eyebrow stuff. Is this? Does makeup always make you feel itchy? Am I having a reaction? Might be. Oh, Lord of Lord. What? Oh, God, I need another camera so you guys can see the looks that Tristan gives me. You okay. have big brows, you can I do have big brows. Is that a compliment? Is that a compliment in the in the in the beauty world? Like, ooh, girl, you got big brows. Like, is that good or is that a sass? What's the next question? Two people almost asked, like, they asked a very similar question. Did I get enough on here? Uh huh. It's like Louise and Sherry. They both asked about how your YouTube growth is affecting you mm -hmm. and your mental health. Sherry specifically asked, do you feel any different, the same, more important, ever get recognized? Look at that. Do you guys see this cross arm thing I got going on? All right, let me see the next step and then I'll, I'll answer that. Okay, she said she's going to double bronze her face. Make it forever pro bronze fusion. Makeup Forever Pro, Pro Bronze Fusion. And this, she, we don't have that. See, this is what I deal with. I'm broke. <laughs> okay, so I'm just doing a single bronze. No, I have another bronzer. Okay, so the bronzer, if I remember correctly, you just want to go on the outside where the sun is going to hit. Yeah, so you <gasps> first and then use the other one. Ooh, watching these beauty guru dramas getting me in it. Okay, so how do you open this? Is this upside down? Yes. That? You've used this before, remember? Yeah, it was like eight months ago. Has the YouTube thing growing changed me or affected my mental health? No, um, so all of you know, um, Business Insider Magazine interviewed me this morning, but I, what I'm always trying to teach you guys is to learn from other people, like learn. Like, since I've been on YouTube, I've been watching other people to see, is this too much, am I good? Well, you're about to use another bronzer, so maybe, okay. maybe chill. All right, okay, we'll chill on the bronzer. Like, I'm always teaching you guys, like, learn from other people's, like, successes and failures, right? So what I'm always doing is I'm watching other YouTubers. I'm watching YouTubers freak out and lose their minds, and I'm sitting there, I'm like, why? Like, why? What happened, right? Like, that's what I'm listening for. So, no, it hasn't affected me negatively yet. I don't see it, but Tristan and I, we talk. Something I was talking about... Ah, oh, the itching. Wait, there's like four colors in here. Which one do I use? You swirl. You swirl. Because something I was talking about was... Oh is that too much? It just doesn't seem like anything goes on it. Is that there's a lot of disconnection. As people get bigger, they disconnect from their audience. They disconnect from people. They forget, you know, they forget where they came from. They, they lack this humility. That's when the ego comes in and all these other things. So something that I try to do is stay connected with all of you. I, I don't know about other YouTubers, but you guys, I spend two to three hours minimum in my comment section. Can I blend this? Like, it looks like I have a bruise. Yeah, you can blend it. I can blend it? You can blend anything. It hasn't affected me. Like, see, I'm I'm fortunate to be a drug addict in recovery, right? Like, and the reason why, oh 
girl. I'm getting this down. You're looking at me like it's not that great, but I'm like, okay, this is helping. Like, I'm fortunate that I'm a drug addict because I realized from recovering from my addiction that my ego is my worst enemy. And my ego will destroy me. My ego will take me out. My ego will turn me into a jerk. My ego will make Tristan leave me and will never be able to do uh, a makeup tutorial again. So I'm constantly figuring out ways to keep my ego in check. And part of that's by stay connect, staying connected with all of you, by talking in comments, replying to you guys as much as possible. I know I can't do it all the time, but I think if I stay connected with you, that's part of it. Like, um, I look up to people like Gary Vaynerchuk. When I see him, like that dude is a billion times bigger than me, but he like spends time with people and he talks to people and stuff. And I try to emulate that because Gary V is pretty mentally healthy. So I look at people like that, like why hasn't Gary V had a mental breakdown yet? Right? So if he's somebody who's doing all this stuff, hustling extremely hard and not having a mental breakdown, how do I emulate that? But some of you get it twisted and you're looking at these other YouTubers who are losing their minds and you're like, oh, that's a good role model. No, like find better role models. Like what would be interesting is like doing a series on YouTubers who have yet to have a mental breakdown. Like not everybody has had a mental breakdown. Some of them talk about, yeah, I'm a little bit stressed, but that's normal. So yeah, I, I think I'm in a good place. Have I been recognized? I got recognized when I was at what, like 10, 15,000? Yeah, yeah, at VegFest, yeah, if on my Instagram, like, some people came up to me, okay, fun story, fun story time, we were walking up to the Vegetarian Festival, and there was, like, a guy and a woman, like, looking at us, I'm like, what are you guys looking at, like, like, usually if people, like, looking at me, it's like, they're gonna ask me for money, or something like that, and, like, the dude comes up to me, he's like, hey, my wife, like, loves your YouTube channel, I'm like, wait, what, and this was, like, at 10,000 subscribers, and they were actually from the Bay Area in California, and I was so excited, I'm like, oh my god, I got recognized, so I was like, here, get in here, and I took a picture with them, it's up on my Instagram, but anyways, yeah. All right, let's see what Christy's doing. Now I'm gonna highlight my face today. I'm gonna spray my face with this. There's not a point system for this, but if there was, I should get added points because I have a beard. Or or deduction, because I don't have as much skin. Yeah, that Let's say I get extra points. Powder. What's she spraying herself with? With right. Vix Plus? <laughs> Vix, Vix Plus. Vix? Like an F? Yeah, but this isn't Vix Plus. This is Maybelline. This is maybe, maybe, maybe I'm born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Okay, so. Flawless skin. Oh, ears. 100% poreless perfection has arrived. New Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation from Maybelline, New York. Surprise, surprise. I'm gonna go in with the Ofra and Nikki Tutorials Highlight in Everglow. Hey, Ofra and what? We don't have that. So what am I gonna do? You have a highlight palette. What's a highlight palette? This? Yep. Like, which color did you use, girl? Okay. What's the next question? Yes. If so, oh. does, does the idea reflect anything that's happened to you? Also, what would you say to someone <coughs> who wants to be more of a supportive, positive force in other people's lives? Okay, this is a two-parter. Let's yeah. calm down. This might have been a bad idea because, like, I'm trying to focus now. Like, I'm trying to... Yeah, your eyes, it's going to be very difficult. We better just do these and then... Okay, so which one... No, I don't see how death brushes. Okay, so which one? Pick one that's like light, but kind of close to your skin, maybe. Light, but kind of close to my skin. So you can pick the one I use, or the one on the bottom. That one? Yeah. That one's good. So the first question was about attachment styles, right? So attachment styles, that's actually something that I am not well versed on at all. I've been learning about them from my friend Ryan Liberty. I am looking phenomenal. Look at that glow. Look at that girl. This is Anastasia. We need to go out and hit Vegas. He talks a lot about attachment styles. I was looking at it, I'm like, oh my God. Like he talked, I think I watched some of his videos on like anxious atta attachment and some other, what? Is this not looking good? It looks great. He, he, he was teaching me about it. I'm like, holy crap, like that's really interesting stuff. So I need to learn more about it. It's very interesting. I think for people with like BPD could benefit from learning a little bit more about their attachment styles. I think all of you could benefit from learning about attachment styles just so you would like know if like a guy or a girl you're pursuing has an unhealthy attachment. So it's something I'm not well versed about, but please, 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 for the love of God, go check out Ryan Liberty's channel. Like you guys need to learn about this stuff. Like he does a lot of stuff on relationships and stuff. What would you say to someone 
who wants to be a more supportive, positive force in people's lives, but is prone to communication issues and childish, childish emotions. <laughs> Got to work on that first. See, that's that's an issue. That is an issue. Like, not not you directly. This is an issue that people have. Right? You, in my opinion, in my opinion, like you should not be a teacher unless you got your emotions under control. What's even, should I say it? Yeah, I will say it. Like, cause I've always told you guys, not all therapists are created equal, right? Like if you as a therapist can't keep your like temper under control, it's difficult. So what I'm telling you is like, this is why all of you need to stay on social media. Stay on social media, embrace social media. Find people who disagree with you. Find them, talk to them, be nice to them. That is your practice ground. Because what I'm hearing from you is that you have a good heart. You wanna help people. But if you can't keep your stuff together, it's very hard. Like, you guys gotta understand, working in drug and alcohol treatment, I've had people come up to my face and tell me to go F myself, right? I'm trying to get monetized, so that's why I just said that. But anyways, and, and how do I deal with that, you know? I'm actually, did you ask me this question so I can plug my new book? <laughs> okay. I'm writing a new book on anger management and I talk about some of these things. And a lot of it's like um, different things that I've practiced and a lot of it has to do with like empathy and I have different strategies in there. Like one of them's like called lie to yourself. <laughs> but there's a lot of different things in that, in that book because here's the last thing I'll say about that. Something I realized a long time ago is that I cannot help people if I don't get my anger under control. If my top priority is to help people, then I need to work on the anger thing, right? So for example, if you wanna be a veterinarian, but you can't stop, you know, doing like drugs, like you need to stop doing drugs so you can help animals. You know what I mean? Like you gotta kind of prioritize this stuff. Okay, so she, did I get the next layer? Good, cause now she's spraying again. See that little flick technique? Flip, 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 flip. I don't think that's a technique. Blend, blend, blend. My cheek is shiny as hell. Should I be as shiny or less shiny? She's really shiny. You're just nodding. I asked, I gave you two options. She's nodding behind the camera. <laughs> I'm just saying, you're following a tutorial for a reason. It really is, honestly. I'm shiny enough. Oh my face highlighter challenge. God, she sprays so much. Like, what does this do? Sunspray. And then she like did this. Then she did, is this what she did? She goes, it's not even doing anything. Is this, what you, is this what you ladies are doing like in the bathroom? Is this, how come I've never walked in on you doing this? <laughs> I don't do that, I use my hands. Let's see what the next step is. I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. I, again, I got that, I got that everybody. Jaclyn Hill, I did a body language video about Jaclyn Hill. Hold on you guys. Like, do you guys realize how many things are in here? Why are there so many colors? Is she gonna tell me which color to use? Silk Cream and MFEO. How do you line this up? Just put the name. Jacqueline, girl, put the name right here. Right here inside. There's space. There's space right there. And look, is the font, the font's small enough too. What? What are you doing? Okay, okay. Also a little bit of pooter and butter. How about pooter butter, silk cream, and Now she just, she showed me two and now she's just listing things. She said pooter and butter? So it's like here, there's like a, a video game code. It's like, tick, tick. so she's mixing four of them. She said, <laughs> she said silk cream, MFEO, and then she said, and then a little pooter and a little butter. That's four. Look at what she's doing with it, we'll see. Yeah, four. I'm gonna kind of mix mocha, Roxanne, and butter. Holy Lord. <laughs> I told you it's hard. What are you, what are you people, what, why? You wanted it. Oh yeah, hey, let's do a makeup tutorial. I'm Chris. Any tips for dealing with ADHD? Oh yeah, one tip, mindfulness. Hold on, that, that, like, there's, a, there's more to that. What is happening with my life? Is this right? I just swirled it in all four. Do they mix, is it like paint? Okay, so ADHD. ADHD is something I... Okay. What, isn't that what she's doing? Yeah, but like on her island. Oh, there's a difference? So put it by my eyebrow? Put it down here by your lid. She's really up in there. You gotta put it up and down, yeah. You gotta put it like this. Think of it as like a little like a V or like a little C right here. Like in the crease? Not all the way in the crease though. 
She's doing a halo eye, so it's going to go dark, light, dark on your eyelid. Dark? It's going to be dark right here and light in the middle. Dark on the outside? Dark so light. like here? Yeah. And then on the very inside. And then in the middle, it's going to be shiny, bright. So ADHD is something I, I don't have as many videos on, but um, first thing is see a doctor, but... Check out the channel, How to ADHD. I haven't reached out to her in a while, but me and her were gonna collab, um, or her and I. She has a channel, How to ADHD. You need to check that out. Like she is, she's done like a TED talk. This is where everything gets messed up, everybody. <laughs> everything was going so smooth. I was feeling so confident. You thought that that was gonna make it the difference, starting with the face. Here's a question nobody asked. Find someone who makes you feel confident and beautiful. I'm like, <laughs> So anyways, see a doctor, talk to them about that. So I am a recovering drug addict. I cannot take amphetamines. So there are no medications that would help me out. But mindfulness helps you. It helps train um, the executive functions of your brain. So like it's scientifically proven to help. Start meditating once a day. Like, the, like breathing meditations are the most boring meditations, but they're great for ADHD because if you're breathing, right? and every time a thought pops up, you go back to your breath, you're training your brain. I often say it's kind of like a dog. Like if you're like training a dog when you're walking the dog, you're yanking on its leash, right? So if it gets ahead of you, yank on it. And eventually the dog's like, okay, I'm gonna walk next to you instead of ahead of you. That's what you're doing with your own mind. So that's how meditation help, helps with, um, with ADHD symptoms, okay? Because it'll help you catch when your mind starts to wander, when it starts to drift and everything like that. So that's, that's one of my tips. The other tip I'll give is um, embrace it. Like one thing that unfortunately a lot of people don't, I don't know. One thing that we haven't caught up with yet is that schools often are not built for people with ADHD and that's what sucks. So, but you're supposed, you should really embrace like your passions and stuff. Cause what I learned about ADHD is that when you have, when there's some, it's not that you lack attention, it's that you lack attention for things that you're not interested in, right? So if you find something that you're interested in, you'll be really good at it. But unfortunately, like if you're in school and they're teaching you about like the presidents and you don't care about that, your mind's gonna wander, you're gonna, you know, be maybe um, hyperactive or whatever it is. So, but if you're an adult, do your thing, like find hobbies and things like that, find a career path and, and all of that, that um, caters to that. I got, I got my butter and I got my Roxanne. Oh yes, honey. Yeah, okay. Why? Because it's looking bomb? <laughs> yeah, girl. Right. Look at that. Uh, this is this is how you halo. Oh, God. What are you doing? Is that my last line? Jacqueline, will you please send me a new palette? I don't want to find this destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see too much difference, too much difference between me and Christy. I haven't done a halo eye in a minute. See how that looks super heavy right there? Yeah, I see. Gonna run my E40 on that. And just E40? Kind of... Tell me when to go. <laughs> Wait, is there something called E40? No, that's a brush name. Oh, Buffin. You're gonna like how Jeffrey Star does his. Yeah. Down the bridge. What's up, Jeffrey? <laughs> it's not looking the same. It's not like a superhero though. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> All right, watch this. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like I look insane right now. I think I'm just gonna Me take too. a recolor. Obsessed. Obsessed? Which one's that? Wait, no, that's not right. Holy sh! Have I been doing this whole thing wrong? Cause she says, uh, so obsessed is right here. So is it this one, or is it over here? <laughs> Cause if, oh sh! <laughs> Have you been like? Have I been no. using the wrong ones? Oh wait, no, 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 no. Okay, so I take a finger. Oh, this is gonna be weird. This is gonna. Just in the middle. Now look. It's a little red. that? Oh yeah. Look at you, Chris. What did people do before makeup tutorials? Did you just get a palette and it was just like figure it out, take a guess? Really? Eyebrow to my eyelashes, and I was just like, that's cool. Huh. 
Makeup's, makeup's fascinating. So now we gotta get the lower lash line. <laughs> you gotta open your eyes. Am I crying obsessed right now? What is this? <laughs> I said it before in my last one, but men, you better be respecting the ladies. Like, you know how guys are just like, Oh, you take so long to get ready. Like, do you see what's happening right now? Do you see the stuff that I like? I get it. I get it. Just get ready earlier. More glitter. More glitter. <laughs> Why? Because glitter. Because <laughs> glitter. <laughs> well, this is easy. Like, this one, it starts getting all, like, symmetrical. Like, it makes sense. Okay. So, what am I using? This. Yeah. Oh, first try! I'm trying to make sure I did it right. Does that help you? No. We're good. We're good. I'm not a perfectionist. Look, calls for some Cocoa Lashes Risqué. You said you didn't want to do lashes? No. Nah. I put mascara in there for you, though. What? I put mascara. What's mascara do? Make your eyelashes dark. Remember, you liked mascara. Wait, am I supposed to do mascara? Yeah, because you're not going to put lashes on. At least do mascara. Am I going to kill my eyes? That? Yep. Yeah. How, like, where does this go? On your lashes. I can't touch my lashes. What do you mean? You I did it before, you can do it again. This, this is such a scary... Oh my god, I'm so scared. Oh, but it's worth it. Okay. Okay. That's fun. Because it like, it, it like curls them, too. Get enough on here? And then you put it right here, right? On the apples. I remember the apples. It's just your cheek. Like, what was... What is... The apples on your cheek. Uh-huh. Because you're not doing the apples at this moment. <laughs> okay. Like yeah. yeah I'm feeling myself. Wait, is that lipstick? I'm going to throw a little tart whisper. Wait, what am I doing? White. It says Katy Perry on it. Katy Perry? Maybe you're a fire, you work. Come and tell me why. What is that? All right. This one? Yeah. Make it go up, up, up. Forgot that song. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Is that how you do it? I'm looking good. Let's get shiny, y'all. Oh, I don't know. This is a one time having big lips is like comes in handy. Like there's so much surface area. I just, yeah, I know. No. I feel like, would that cost me more money in makeup though? Cause I'm just like. Using more? Yeah. People try to get your lips all the time though. Look at that. <laughs> you only spray the bottom of your face. Do I? Yeah, you never spray the bottom. Oh, you have to. Mm -hmm. This looks good. I think that came out pretty well. Let's see. That looks good. Would you go out with me like in public like this? Could we go to a club? Uh, what if I made this face? <laughs> right? Right? I mean, only, maybe if you let me do it, then maybe I would Well, we need to... So, okay, everybody. Here's what you need to do. The, J Julian and Jenna Marbles did one where, like, the guy... Julian, like, instructed her on putting makeup on. And it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. So... Let me know down in the comments if you would like that to happen because we're gonna, we gotta do that. I just said that and Zach's leaving it in. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, thank you all who are on Patreon and you submitted your questions. If I didn't get to your question, but I think I did. Uh, but yeah, I will do more of these. And if you like, if you're somebody who has like questions that you want me to answer because I am very professional, sign up on Patreon. <laughs> but again, I'm working on my anger management book, which um, if you're at like, I can't remember, a $20 tier, you get all my books for free. So everybody at that tier, you get a free book as soon as it's launched. And I think it'll be done this week. All right. But anyways, I love all of you. Let me know down in the comments if you think I look amazing. And uh, yeah, I don't know. What else do I do during this part? I'm not sure. My face is itchy and we need to get this stuff off. I love you all so much. Like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. I'll see you next time. Mwah.